How you doing? Are you ready for some good news? First up, for the second week in a row, I've got some potentially good news for people living with type 1 diabetes. This time, the good news comes in the form of the Bacillus Calmet Garin, or BCG, vaccine, which a new clinical trial conducted at Massachusetts General Hospital has found can reverse advanced type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that occurs when antibodies attack insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. The Mass General study finds that the BCG vaccine increases levels of regulatory T-cells, or TREGs, preventing autoimmune attacks. The BCG vaccine was developed in the early 20th century to protect against tuberculosis and is still primarily used for that purpose today. Since the 1970s, it has also been a standard treatment for bladder cancer, and researchers have long been exploring its potential as a form of immunotherapy. One more aspect of that potential, preventing and reversing type 1 diabetes, may just have been unlocked. A five-year Phase 2 trial is soon to begin, and the results of the Phase 1 trial were presented this past Saturday in San Diego at the 77th Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association. Next up, astronomers have found a new use for a 100-year-old theory first proposed by Albert Einstein. No, I'm, that's true. Don't shake your head. And by a 100-year-old theory, I mean general relativity. Yeah, you've probably heard of it. Astronomers from Baltimore's Space Telescope Science Institute used the Hubble telescope to observe a white dwarf called Stein 2051b as it passed in front of a more distant star in the background. By measuring how the gravity of Stein 2051b bent the light of the background star, the astronomers were able to estimate the mass of the white dwarf. This same technique, called microlensing, was used in 1919 by Arthur Eddington during a solar eclipse to confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity. The study of Stein 2051b is the first time the Hubble telescope has been used to determine the mass of a star via the microlensing method. Now, astronomers have yet another tool they can use to learn about distant objects. This study also allowed the astronomers to determine the relationship between a white dwarf's radius and its mass, confirming a theory first proposed in 1939 by Nobel Prize winning astrophysicist Subramayan Chandrasekhar. All in all, a good day for theoreticians. The results of the Stein 2051b study are published in the journal Science. Finally, another bit of good news from way up yonder in ice-cold outer space. Astronomers have detected the building blocks of life in a group of distant protostars. That group is Iris 16293-2422, a system of three protostars, all with masses similar to that of our Sun. The system is 400 light-years away, located near the constellation Ophiuchus in our sky. Astronomers using the ALMA Observatory detected the presence of methyl isocyanate, a complex organic molecule important for amino acid synthesis. Iris 16293-2422 may sound familiar to the dedicated astronomy nerds out there. That's because five years ago it was also found to be home to molecules of glycolaldehyde, a simple sugar. If, in the next few hundred million years, the stars of Iris 16293-2422 form their own planetary systems, it's likely those systems will be very similar in size and composition to our own solar system. Learning about Iris 16293-2422 could give us priceless insights into the evolution of our solar system, including the origins of life on Earth. Papers based on this research were published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society.
So there you have it. A vaccine created a century ago could hold the potential to reverse type 1 diabetes. Einstein's theory of relativity, also created a century ago, gives astronomers a new way to measure the mass of distant stars. And astronomers detect more of the building blocks of life in a cloud of dust and gas surrounding a far-off system of protostars. That's the good news. Hey folks, one more thing before we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, won't we? She's purring, she likes it.